Hey guys and welcome to a new video of Bitcoin Edge. Today we'll take another look into the charts and um, we always start by a look at what the S&P 500 is doing and the dollar is doing and um, the S&P is going beautifully sideways and the uh, dollar is what I hope doing a bearish retest over here but let's take another look and yeah it seems like a bearish retest and that is exactly what we want uh, we want new lows uh, first level for the dollar to break would be this level um, and why do I want that so bad well um, let's zoom out to the weekly over here we had the extreme bull market for Bitcoin in 2017 over here we have the current one so that is very important I think it's very correlated um, so I want to see uh, down the drain for a dollar um, S&P 500 looking very healthy over here, correlating a lot with the uh, well with Bitcoin as well. Um, and I mean, it's looking like a bull flag, so that's good. Uh, over here we have the CME chart for Bitcoin. Uh, some gaps left, people might short towards that. Um, here we have the funding and premium index. And right now uh, we can see fundings and premiums are coming down, which is bullish. That gives us fuel back to the upside. Let's take a closer look over here. Um, and I mean right now like let's hope we can make a bullish engulfing on the daily let's zoom in a little bit more um, this is what we're seeing right now this is exactly what we are seeing right now and we are in so broke that line and still this line keeps being dangerous what we want to do right now is well of course this is a very important line over here So we want to break those highs and after that we want to break those highs so we get out of the danger zone because this bottom line over here is the danger zone as I like to call it. Um, breaking that one would be very bad and would cause for some further downside. Right now the S&P is still looking very good and um, that makes me bullish. I would say this line is also important. Um, so yeah it's not looking that bad. I don't think um, the bull market is over what is um, a little bit bad you know because usually in a bear market uh, Bitfinex has a premium over Coinbase um, and in the bull market Coinbase has a premium over Bitfinex right now we're seeing a premium on Bitfinex so that's kind of scary um, and over here you know I like Bitcoin wisdom a lot you see the same lines uh, this is something you could see on a smaller time frame so we are about to break out um, and which side? Um, well, the, the Dixie seems to get a rejection over here. Um, and then I would say Bitcoin up. Also, we have to take a look at the fundings. Predicted fundings are going up. We do not have that much premium, just a $50 on Bybit. Uh, sorry, Bitmax it is. Let's take a look over here. Predicted fundings are high, but it's okay for like... They can be high in a bull market. That's okay. Uh, totally normal. So I'm I'm leaning towards upside breakout. Uh, it's definitely consolidating. Also, we have, I mean, we can make it as small as possible. We want to break either. Let's take this one away. We're just between um, 34,000 and 35,000. Break either side would pro possibly, well... Uh, choose our direction support uh, if the lower one breaks would be around 32 and above would be um, yeah around 35 so whichever we breaks first we will go to these ones or these ones and um, yeah I think up like first ones of this break will decide our decision unless it's a stop run which I'm not expecting um, Ethereum, Ethereum looking not that bad on a smaller time frame, but pretty similar to Bitcoin. Also very much con consolidating. Breakout is coming. Be prepared if you play with leverage. If you're a hodler, you know, don't worry, just hold, just hold it, hodl it. Um, yeah, this is basically it. Dot, dot. Uh, dot USD doing very good over here. Had a 
nice breakout over here and um, I mean they're showing extreme strength today extreme strength that's all I can say um, and yeah I mean as soon as they break these ones <clears throat> they tested it now as soon as they break it you know they will shoot up a lot um, where you know you could use um, uh, Fibonacci levels for that I don't do it I just look at liquidity and see how much fuel there is for us to go further to the upside Bitcoin um, smaller time frame right now looks very good looks like it will break to the upside um, and break 35,000 again um, lower time frame looks very good um, I would target 36k with a long over here I am long uh, so yeah that is my short-term target 36k and possibly even higher um, usually in a bull market I like to short but I mean right now it's a long um, and that is about it for today did I forget anything funding rates are good yeah if you trade with some leverage make sure to use the sign up link um, you can ask me free questions um, yeah ask me anything also by using the sign up link you get 20% discounts and you get a $500 sign up bonus if you deposit more than a Bitcoin um, so yeah that is about it make sure to leave a comment subscribe let me know what you you think of the videos if you do not understand anything uh, what are like what are the subjects I talk about you know let me know in the comments I'll explain it to you um, I'm happy to interact with with you guys so make sure to let me know what you think and um, subscribe see you guys again tomorrow